Hello friends, welcome to Good Better Vest. I'm Mike Vest, and here we are with part two of this Les Paul Pango guitar kit. We already did the unboxing, go check it out. And now, how are we going to color this? Here we go. Dang it. So I have this Pango Les Paul kit. I wanna color it, we've gotta we've got dye it. We're going to practice, first of all, before I actually do this, I've never done this before. I've got these little wood slabs. We've got the gloves, RZ masks for painting and staining and sanding, amazing. No cry goggles from Amazon, some Mohawk sanding sealer, some true oil, some tiny little tape to paint, to tape off the binding, some Duragold sandpaper, and then, some Angelus leather dye, which I've seen so many YouTubers color their guitars with Angelus leather dye. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use shop towels to apply the dye and the stain. I don't know if it's perfect. Again, good, better, best. We're here learning together. Let's figure this out. If it doesn't work, then we'll chuck it and try something new. So if you have ideas or suggestions, please put them in the comments. I would love for this to be a journey together, a community that we can build of how to go from good to better to best together. And of course, please subscribe so you can join me on this journey. Let's go. I wanna show you the picture of what I'm going for here. It's an evening sky with kind of a white, light blue, dark, purple to black fade. And that's what we're going to attempt to do on here. And then on the back, we have to pour fill. I don't know if you can see how it's mahogany, so I mean, it is porous. It is very, very porous. I have Aqua Coat. It's a water-based kind of a gel filler. So on the neck and the back of the guitar, I will need to do the grain filler. And then I just, in my mind, I have a vision of the front of the guitars I do is the nature, like depicted from nature or inspired by the nature around me and then the back i want this like white oak on the back and then the bright nature like colors on the front i don't know we'll see how it goes uh let's practice on this guy this is the one that will get the the wood stain and the aqua coat this back part and this front one this is what will be the front and i'm going to use the angelus leather dies i have black and then five variations of blue we're gonna sand this first. Let's start with 220. Like I said before, I have my wife and I use these RZ masks. They work really well. And then I like these no cry goggles from Amazon because they can kind of fit right over the top of the mask. For our purposes, I think that's what we're good gonna go with. A lot of YouTubers say to use compressed air. Um, I'm just going to use a little pump perfect okay now we are going to apply the aqua coat they say use a squeegee old credit card sand it to 220 which i just did and then you squeegee it on against the grain with the credit card it says you don't need to apply a whole bunch some people online say just apply it liberally the actual company said you don't need a lot but you could do two to three coats let's find out you're supposed to let it sit for an hour to dry before sanding so you apply it against the grain and then with the grain on your final scraping it off look, look at that just like his goopy gel stuff here we go Just, yeah, it's just like a gel. Just kind of make sure I get it everywhere. Just go in sections. It also says it dries pretty fast. Never done anything like this, so here we go. Just learning as we go, guys. Okay. 
You aren't kidding. You really don't need to use a whole lot, but we'll see how well it gets down into these pores. Okay. Well, that part's done. We're just going to set this this one aside, let it dry. We're just testing it out. See what I like, what works best. Hopefully you guys give me some comments, what you've done. Because I, I want to do this for the long term. You know, I want to I want to be making guitars for a long time. We're going to sand this. And this is going to be where we test out our colors. Just going to sand it 220 with the grain. And I might even go to three 320 because I, I want the guitars to be n very, you know, smooth. And I've heard the higher grit you go, so the smoother you're going, the dyes and stains don't penetrate as much. Some people like that. I'm just trying to figure this out. So I'm going to go one more. I'm going to go up just because that's what I want to do. I want it smoother. Uh, not a lot is coming off at this point. Just smoothing out. If I were doing this to the guitar, I would have taken a damp cloth and rubbed it along the wood, raised the fibers, let it dry so I can get it really smooth. Let's do this. So just like the picture, I want it to be light at the bottom slowly fade dark so i know i need to work with the lighter colors first so we've got and uh, the jet black go at the end navy turquoise might not use that one regular blue purple maybe by the black and light blue angelus leather has one called a neutral and that is what they have to dilute them. So we're just gonna go light blue, blue, navy, purple, jet black. Let's, let's take out the turquoise. Let's take out the turquoise. Let's just work with these five and let's see how that goes. All right. Oh, look, a little leather applicator that comes with it. Thank you, Angelus Leather Dye. They also sent me a sticker when I ordered from them. It does have denatured alcohol in it, so these are not water-based. So some people use RIT, RIT dye. I want to use that as well because it's water-based. Apparently it's much more forgiving, but it also is water-based. So it raises the grain. I don't know. So let's try this. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I've never done this. And then I think I'm going to do the whole thing with the light blue and kind of leave. Like I want that curve. You know, here we go. Let's do it. All right, there's blue, but like in my picture, I'm gonna do a little bit lighter. Let's see what regular blue does. I should have just gone, you know, color by color. But this is what we're doing. Blue, here we go. Kinda makes it go purple, doesn't it? Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, it definitely goes purple though, doesn't it? When you when you put the the blue over the blue like that, but I mean I am kind of getting that that fade. Just going for navy blue. Now you can always go darker, but you can't go lighter with this. Definitely has you know goes purple. I wonder if I'll do a couple more trials and make it. You know, use the natural one that, that dilutes it. All right, let's go back to the original. Blue. Yeah, these are okay. I mean, I mean, you can see it's leaving pieces of the cloth all over. I do like that blue, though. That is a pretty blue. And the light, the light color at the bottom of the guitar, I think it looked pretty just, you know, plain. Or maybe just like a, I don't know. 
I don't know how I'm going to go from that really light at the bottom. Maybe, because I wanted it to look white. I don't know. Maybe let's try one more piece of wood. All right, let's try this in pieces this time. Light blue, blue, navy blue. And now I do want to see the turquoise. Light blue. Okay, let's see the turquoise. Okay, there's turquoise. Let's go to blue. There's blue. Navy. Blue definitely has a purple look to it, doesn't it? All right, here's purple on the end here. Ooh, glad I tested that one out. That's pretty. It's good practice, though. Then we'll come back when the aqua coat has dried on that other piece and see what the uh, wood stain looks like. All right, so we'll be back. Okay, welcome back. I waited 24 hours after I put on the aqua coat on that on that one piece of wood, and then I came back and I filmed a video of me staining and dyeing and doing a whole new thing. And the camera up here was not working. So it just got me talking and telling you what I was doing, but you didn't get to see any of it. So we're gonna do it again. What you missed in the video is I used this wood stain on top of where I had used the aqua coat, and then I'd sanded it down to 320. And I don't know if you can see that. I mean, you can still see the holes, but they're filled. They're filled with that aqua coat. And then I put two coats of that white on it. I, I think I'm gonna like that on the back and sides of the guitar. So that's what I did when the camera wasn't working that you didn't get to see. So I hate telling, I would rather you see. When the camera wasn't working, I was able to do this one, which I really like how that turned out. I used the neutral to dilute the light blue so we can get that evening sky look. I wanna, I wanna try another one actually on camera. Let's just put a tiny bit of neutral in there to dilute the blue and let's put this on here if you've got ideas or suggestions or know how to do this or you just want to come along for the ride and learn with me that's what we're doing with good better vest right i didn't put gloves on and i've already dyed my finger let's put some gloves on shall we i'm going to leave some space at the bottom so i can push it lighter we'll just start doing the colors right here i might need to add more blue to that huh hmm I mean, it could be the lighter wood as well. Light blue. Oh, see, it's definitely different with the slighter different tones of those wood pieces, isn't it? Let's go regular blue. See how we go. This is the one that kind of goes purple. All right, now we're going to go navy blue and then black. And then we're going to try to fade it out with the neutral and with the light blue. And I wonder if just using a couple colors rather than so many colors and just fading over the top or blending them would, you know, give better fade. But I don't know. We're just trying it out. All right, let's go black. I'm going to try and use the neutral and blend it a little bit. Probably going to go this way from the light to the dark first. I like this area here a lot on that, that piece. I think maybe I'll use more of the light blue. Now back to the neutral. Oh, I guess I covered over the diluted blue. All right, we're learning. We're learning, right? I'm starting to like these rags a little bit. The only time it tears is when it catches on these sharp pieces of this wood, which the guitar will not have. So let that dry it's pretty similar the idea is that the guitar right the body and I think also I'm going to have the headstock I'm gonna to try to have the headstock just to kind of do a mini fade to match the body and then we'll have the white stained neck and back there's our practice pieces right and here's the guitar that's what we're going for that evening sky Blue to black fade. I don't know if I want the bottom of the guitar to stay just the, the wood. I think I'll start with the light blue, the diluted light blue, right, right here. Work up to the black, right? And then see how we fade. And then the neck, not the neck, the, the head, same thing, same kind of fade. 
And then for the back and the neck, do this white right here. Very similar, right? You can see the holes. We'll fill those, grain fill those, and that's what it'll look like. That's the goal right there. Excited for you to see this, to join me again. Please give me comments, subscribe so you can follow along for this whole journey, so you can be part of this Good Better Vest community where we can hopefully learn together and take our good and make it better and our better vest. Peace. Ha, nailed it.